Many visitors to Delgany start exploring this wonderful area by taking the Delgany Heritage Trail. The trail starts outside the Wicklow Arms, going south towards Christchurch. Let's give you a glimpse of what you will see during the walk. Church of Ireland Parish Church, built by Peter Latouche at a cost of £5,000 and designed by Whitmore Davis. It was completed in 1789. A light Gothic building with a steeple rising 30 metres. The interior is of a very pleasing design and contains a splendid monument to the memory of David Latouche, Peter's father. Fashioned in white marble, it was executed by the famous Irish sculptor John Hickey. Making your way down Jacob's Ladder and over Three Trout Stream, you head up towards Blackberry Lane. Note the variety of trees, bushes and general vegetation, which provide ideal nesting sites for birds, as well as excellent habitats and corridors for other forms of wildlife. Buzzards, badger, fox, bats and squirrels to name a few. The whole of this area here is a virtual hotspot for wildlife, really. You have such a mixture. You can actually hear that sparrowhawk. Did you hear that call? Yes, yes, yes. That's a sparrowhawk. Uh, and they nest right over in the high trees here. And they actually raid the various gardens around the area. Making your way back towards the village, you can see Style Bawn House. Originally two thatched houses, they were built in the early 16th century and joined in 1773. It was once known as the Delgany Inn. Sir Walter Raleigh, the man who brought the potato to Ireland, stayed in this house. Opposite the main entrance to Stylebourne is the old burial ground, an early Christian settlement dating back to the 7th century. Tombstones throughout the burial ground, all ranging from the 1700s, are mostly in limestone and Wicklow granite. I advise anybody who's coming here to come around 12 noon because all the tombstones are facing east and you can read them very clearly. We have a very nice high monumental cross here which is the most precious thing in the graveyard. It has lost its upper shaft but uh, we don't know how this happened but it was standing with its full glory shafts in 1834. Maybe some person could throw a light on this in the future. The walk continues to Upper Kindlestown, past the Bellevue de Man. This area was once owned by the Latouche family. In the wood there is an ideal place to go walking. People can park their cars there. And there are various walks inside in the wood, so you can take a sort of a short walk or a, a much longer walk. Mm -hmm. And the buzzards actually uh, nest in this area, so uh, you're likely to hear them as well. During the, during the summertime. It's a wonderful area for wildlife. You'll not always see what you hope to see. Uh, and if you have people talking and walking at the same time, you really need to be quiet if you're watching wildlife. So uh, you, you just sit down and, and relax and hope you'll get lucky. On your way back to the village, you pass Kindlestown Castle and on towards the Carmelite Monastery, founded in 1844, where the nuns still retain the hermit spirit and sisterly life to this day. Delgany community are very proud of their village and welcome you to enjoy this very special place. <laughs>